Hi everyone, my name is Megan Lloyd with EO Movement. Today we're going to be talking about Doodle for this week's Techie Tip Tuesday. Doodle is a great way to collect information on schedules. If you're scheduling a meeting or an event and you're trying to determine when everybody can meet or have this event, you simply create this this really nice form that's super fast to do. Just email it over to them and they can click on all the options over the times that work for them. And then you'll have a really nice layout of all the people that you're trying to connect with and all the, the times that they've indicated they're available. And it will highlight the option that works for the most people. So you know this is the time that we should schedule. And this is really nice because everybody's experienced sending text messages back and forth or emails back and forth saying, hey, when are you available? Can you meet this day? And then you'll get four replies, yes, that works for me. And then several replies, no, that doesn't work for me. How about this day? And so you just keep going back and forth on trying to find times. But this makes it super much quicker to do where you can just easily quickly see everybody's schedules and what works for them and what doesn't. And then you can choose and move on. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Again, it's called Doodle, D-O-O-D-L-E. Create a free account. For our purposes, we're, we've just been using the free account, but you can see what the paid versions are. We, we don't really need it much beyond that, but there, there are other options if you need it. So schedule an event, choose your title. <clears throat> Let's call it, when can we meet? Um, we're gonna call the location conference calls and the description, we'll call it test. You can attach notes via Evernote if you want to upload an agenda or other things, documents having to do with this meeting and click next. And then you choose the date range you're trying to schedule your meeting or event for. And so those are my dates. Now include the times that you're available on those days that you want people to choose from. And if you want more times than just three options, click add further time slots and then it continues to populate. And you can do this many, many times. If you want the times to all be the same for each day, just click copy and paste for first row. Now click next. And I'm just gonna do the basic poll, but just so that you know there are other options, you can create it so that's confidential. So that only you see the answers instead of having everyone see the list of people that have participated in the quiz. Um, you can choose to limit how, uh, how many options they can choose if you only want them to choose one. Instead of having them list all of the options that, they, that work for them, you say, which one do you prefer the most? Then they just choose one and they can't click anymore after that. So there are two different, different ways to do this. Okay, so we're going to click next. You decide if you want them to be able to share the link with others to participate or if you want a specified group of people to participate. For us, we, we really like the only invited people, only the people I invited can participate. And then you start adding the email addresses of the people you want this to send to. You can create a personal message to add in that email. Let's look at what the email looks like. So it uses the title I indicated in the beginning and it says it's from Doodle, and it just says, hey there, so-and-so invites you to participate in a Doodle poll called When Can We Meet? And then they click on the poll, and it will take them to a really beautiful, <clears throat> let's see, it will show up in my email. So it'll take them to a poll that looks like this. And all I do is click on it in their email, and they can just start clicking on the times that work for them. So let's see, I'm available this day, this day, this day, this day but not the others and then you save it and when everybody else starts to fill it out as well <clears throat> you will see everybody's options lined up for you and it will highlight so all the ones that are in green are the ones that work for me and then it will continue to highlight that the rows that seem to work for the most people and that's really it so hopefully that works for you and you get some help from that so have a wonderful afternoon and we will catch you next time for next week's Techie Tip Tuesday.